but the building of this facility was privately funded and uh, it started in about 2000 when we had the groundbreaking and we opened in 2003 in conjunction with the 100th anniversary of the Wright Brothers achievement of, of man-powered flight. We've been up and running for, for quite some time now, and of course the second half, where we do the restoration of the airplanes, what we called phase two, uh, opened in 2010. It's uh, 40 million cubic feet, but uh, because we hang airplanes at three levels in here, it, uh, we, we use the entire volume. So it's a very modern, and uh, uh, it's a facility that enables us to properly care for the national collection. The biggest tr attraction out here is the SR-71 Blackbird, which set the transcontinental speed record of one hour and four minutes flying from Los Angeles to Dulles. And it's on display along with the Concorde, which was the fastest transport ever built. We also have the what we call the Dash 80, which was the prototype of the Boeing 707, which is really what put the world into the jet age. The airplanes that we have and the spacecraft we have are significant because of their contribution to technology and development and keeping the America in the leadership roles that we play uh, in air and space. So. Uh, every single item in here has a story that goes with it. When they retired the shuttle program, we got Discovery, which is the most experienced of all the shuttles. It flew 39 times, more than any other shuttle, so it's, it's the, the primo of the, uh, the shuttle fleet. Probably the first time uh, ever, at least at a museum, we had both the Enterprise and Discovery on our site, and we've got pictures of them nose to nose out here on our taxiway. So it was a fantastic day, and uh, that's when we made the transition. We traded Enterprise for Discovery, and Enterprise is now up on the Intrepid Museum in New York City. We're proud to be part of the 275th anniversary for Fairfax County, and it's going to continue to grow and uh, also diversify in terms of some of the things we can do to make it an enjoyable visit for families to come out here. So congratulations, Fairfax, on a 275th anniversary, and we're proud to be part of your family.